The possible successor to lithium batteries is on the horizon and actually going into production right now. Stick around and learn a bit about sodium ion. Sodium ion battery technology has been around since the 70s and 80s, but research was abandoned in favor of lithium in the 90s, which seemed to be more promising at the time. Since then, lithium has come to dominate the world market for portable electronics and has fueled the advent of the electric car to the mass market. But lithium is becoming scarce because of that huge demand boom. Well, maybe scarce isn't the right word. It's becoming harder and more expensive to get access to large quantities of it, and there's no end in sight to that demand. Some estimates say there's only enough reasonably mineable lithium in the whole world to make around 3 billion electric vehicles. So supply is an issue, but production is another issue. According to some estimates, worldwide lithium production would have to triple by 2050 just to convert every car in America to electric. And it takes a long time for new production to ramp up, so we're likely to start seeing massive shortages as early as 2025. The good news is, some people saw the writing on the wall and revived research and development of sodium ion batteries back in the 2010s. And now one battery maker and one car company are ready to bet the farm on sodium ion. CATL, or Cattle, one of the largest battery makers in the world, and Cherry, a car manufacturer from China, are teaming up to use sodium ion batteries in the upcoming iCar. Now whether they make that date or not, a ton of money has gone into factories and production, so this is going to happen. And you can bet that every car maker in the world is watching closely how this works out and will soon have their own sodium ion plans if all goes well. How do I know? Because they just did it with lithium iron phosphate batteries as once again Cherry led the way and now Tesla and every other automaker are following suit, replacing some of their lithium ion batteries with LFP due to its lower cost and better safety. And then it won't be long until we start to see sodium ion batteries spread to other industries and applications. But the question is, will sodium ion replace lithium? The short answer is no. The long answer is, sodium ion will operate side by side with lithium and other current cell technologies as competitors for a long time. Each of the currently common chemistries have advantages and disadvantages. Sodium ion, like lithium iron phosphate, has a lower energy density, so it's more suited for applications where size and weight are not as big of an issue. And again, like LFP, they're estimated to be cheaper to make in bulk and safer as they don't explode or catch fire. I'm personally betting that sodium ion batteries will someday be the default option on a new RV or bass boat, for example. But higher end models will probably have NMC or lithium ion. In other words, sodium ion can become a low price alternative in many battery applications and take some of the pressure off of the lithium supply chain to allow mining and production to ramp up. I've even seen some articles reporting some businesses may try to mine asteroids for lithium someday. So who knows what the future will bring. But in the meantime, thank goodness for companies like Cattle and Cherry that are willing to take risks and help deliver a way to offset some of the extreme demand for high performance batteries. And while sodium ion in its present form isn't going to take over the world, it is the next great innovation in power storage to continue to fuel this new industrial revolution we're experiencing. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to know more about sodium ion in a future video, let me know in the comments below.